Why doesn't MTV play music videos anymore? MTV has been in a weird spot for years. Their current content is a far cry from what put the channel on the map back in the day. Gone are the days when music television, or MTV, actually played music videos. So what happened? Why doesn't MTV play music videos anymore? MTV was founded way back in 1981. It's young enough that many still remember when it all started, but old enough to be completely disconnected from 2000s era generations. When MTV first started, it was all about music. The television station played tons of music and showed tons of music videos. Segments like Yo! MTV Raps helped popularize a new wave of rap artists to propel rap into the mainstream. Stop! Check it out, my man. This is the music of a hip-hop band. 120 Minutes with Matt Penfield gave early birds a taste of music news before work. The legendary Unplugged Sessions gave unique insight into bands and to excite fans and attract new listeners. And even MTV's non-music shows like Beavis and Butthead still centered around music culture with their band tees and grunge-inspired art styles. Compared to its early days, the current broadcast lineup on MTV looks almost unrecognizable, with its airtime dominated by reality TV shows like The Real World. What? Katrina, your sister came into this house, you changed your whole demeanor. So Road rules. Gotta hurry to get all fixed up. I got an extra space in the cab of my truck. All I have to do. MTV Spring Break, Teen Mom 2, Singled Out, and the infamous Jersey Shore. So what happened to the channel dedicated to music? In its early days, MTV set itself apart from other channels by marketing to countercultures of 80s at a time when media was big, but nowhere near as prevalent as it is today. Their original content came at a time before any recognizable version of the internet existed, with no smartphones, no music streaming, no YouTube, and a completely different music landscape. While MTV used to be the only major outlet for the cool kids, the rockers, and the music fans of the world, the direction at the top has moved toward a much broader audience in a disparate bid to fight for network TV ratings in a world where TV and the TV model is becoming increasingly obsolete. Although MTV's impact on society is unquestionable, and it came at just the right time to inspire countless new music fans, a CNET interview with MTV video jockey Adam Curry revealed that the TV station never actually made much money from playing music videos around the clock. Even during its peak in the mid-80s, their revenue was barely above break-even, which limited its ability to expand. Once the station started to diversify its lineup with game shows, suddenly their ratings shot up. The first game show on MTV was Remote Control, a show drenched in the grunge and counterculture style of the music videos shown on the network with a wacky premise. The host of the show, Ober, was just living his dream to make a game show in his mom's basement, where contestants sat in large recliners and answered questions about pop culture. Video jockeys, or VJs, were meant to be like a DJ for visual media, and stars like Ober took on the roles of pre-YouTube video celebrities who helped reinforce the culture that MTV catered to. However, the success of these shows signaled a shift in the network's direction that would only grow stronger over the years. So why did MTV stop showing music videos? The executives at the top defend the shift by saying that if MTV didn't change their lineup, they would be known as the Nostalgia Channel. Since music changes over time, audience and culture all change too. They say their shifting content helped market their channel to new audiences with different preferences in music and content. While it's no secret they've seen success with many of their shows reaching peak popularity at various points in time, they've definitely left their original fan base in the dark with almost no replacement out there for what MTV originally offered. Another very real factor that constantly influences MTV's lack of music videos is its rivalry with the powerhouse of YouTube. If MTV would have worked harder to retain their original audience, maybe things would look different. But YouTube simply took over the world of music videos. There's just no way MTV could ever hope to compete with YouTube's billions of global views on hit songs like Justin Bieber's Baby, Gangnam Style, 
and the other one-hit wonders of the world. Despite breaking new ground with their unique style, MTV's music video format was already getting phased out before it even really took off, thanks to dedicated cable TV channels that would play shuffle playlists of different genres. The advent of the MP3 player further ate into MTV's profits, and in the end, the channel dedicated to music had no choice but to switch over to different content. The top analysts at the company accurately pointed out that music was only one piece of the culture of their audience. As they branched out into different forms of programming, they could attract different viewers and reinforce other aspects of their fans' culture through fashion, and even compete against cartoon stations like Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network with their own hits like Daria. Their reality TV shows appealed to alternative youth and rocker families with shows like The Osbournes and The Hills. All of MTV's success with their variety programming shows that the channel with music in the name was never really about music, but instead about youth culture. While the youth of the 80s remember MTV for revolutionizing the world of music entertainment, those days are long gone. The network is constantly reinventing itself to keep up to date with new audiences. They constantly strive to be hip. What was hip in the 80s just isn't fashionable today. This disconnect is confusing and frustrating for older fans of the network, but MTV is still getting tons of views with each new generation, showing their ability to adapt and appeal to new audiences. The part that seems to hurt the worst for older MTV fans isn't that MTV changed, it's that they don't even acknowledge their former fans, like an ex ghosting your texts. MTV doesn't even remind viewers that the M in their name stands for music. While they could easily segment a few slots in their runtime for older viewers, they have no desire to relive the past at all, creating a love-hate relationship for each generation that gets left behind by the trends. This disregard for their past might be why they're seeing a decline in relevance. Even platforms like YouTube acknowledge their former stars with their Rewind series and various other means of promoting past stars. While MTV seems reluctant to appeal to 80s, 90s, and now even early 2000s audiences, maybe a few callback segments would help regrow their viewership numbers to merge their past success with their future viewers. MTV definitely can't relive the glory days, no matter how much fans hope and pray. They tried to revert their direction way back in 1996 with the launch of M2, a sister channel that was meant to play only music videos like the original MTV. But just like the parent network, M2 also dropped music videos for other channels until it was eventually rebranded in 1999 as MTV2 to air reruns of shows from MTV. But they are still listening to fans. MTV tried again recently with their launch of MTV Classic, that stays mostly focused on music, with some of their 90s era shows thrown in for a bit of variety in between the tunes. So how is MTV going to win back fans and reintroduce music into its lineup? It's easy to speculate what a world would look like if MTV had adopted the internet trends faster, but that's not the reality we live in. They were slow, and YouTube rose to fill the gap. Despite losing out on their share of the music entertainment pie, MTV still has cultural relevance in music thanks to its MTV Music Awards that still manage to make headlines even today, thanks to crazy moments with Miley Cyrus twerking or Lady Gaga walking out in a meat dress. If MTV wants to rethink the role of music on their channel, they need to bring back viewer participation. Audience engagement is one of the most important factors of YouTube's success. Content creators and even bands themselves can reach out directly to fans through the comments section, and fans can immediately voice their opinion through likes and dislikes. MTV tried this out with their TRL show that focused on music videos while requiring active participation, and it was a successful format that became one of MTV's best and most beloved shows. Their Viewer's Choice Awards were also a renowned part of their music video awards. Sure, it's hard to have a viewer's choice if there's no music videos for viewers to watch, but that direction has worked for them in the past, and there's really no reason not to explore it again. What do you think? Should MTV try to win back older fans, and if so, how? Do you even want MTV to show music videos again? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, 
be sure to click that like button and subscribe for more amazing videos.